All right, what's up guys? We are at the Princess Half Marathon Weekend Expo. We're gonna go do some merchandise, pick up our bibs and all of that fun stuff. Yeah. So let's go. That's really Hey, how you doing? Got that, that's my ID for you. Be first page. Ooh, I like that. Thank you. Pardon. Yeah, you're fine. going into the Vista Center to do our shirts. 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 And check out the actual expo. Yeah, it looks like it's, always it's fun. bigger and better than ever. Let's see. Springtime surprise medals. We've got 5K. Yep. Is that not? There we go. Sweet. Right here, this side up. Kenny spins 
got the princess medals. I love the 50th embellishments on the back of them. The 5K chorus, which is pretty standard 5K, down around the Epcot parking lot, then in through the World Showcase here. You do that quick loop out around the back of France and Morocco, and then back out the side of the park real quick, in by UK, and then you finish around uh, World Nature, by Spaceship Earth, and on to the finish there. Pretty standard 5K course. Then for the 10K, this is the same course as Marathon Weekend, which I really liked. You start at Epcot parking lot, and you go down the World Drive, your own World Drive, over to Epcot Resorts Boulevard, where you do that quick little turn into Hollywood Studios. You're gonna go down around Tower of Terror uh, by Rock and Roller Coaster, rather than around Fantasmic. Then you run the uh, outside along the walking path towards Boardwalk. You go around the Beach Club side, into Epcot real quick around World Nature again, and then you finish past Spaceship Earth right in the Epcot parking lot. So then for the half course, we're again starting the Epcot parking lot, which is gonna be new for a half starting in Epcot. You're gonna run out towards World Drive again, all the way up, pretty standard up area through Magic Kingdom. You'll run the Magic Kingdom area down Main Street, around Tomorrowland, Fantasyland, through the castle, and then down out Frontierland. And then you're gonna run the long loop going all the way down, back down World Drive, back to uh, Epcot Center, Bull or Epcot, yeah, Epcot Center Drive. And then you're gonna do that quick turnaround across the bridge, and then you're do a quick in and out of Epcot by Spaceship Earth. So we did the expo things, we did our merchandise, got our bibs, uh, walked through the expo a little bit, but I think we might be coming back later to kind of finish up. Amy, how was your first expo? Oh, it's good. Um, I, I was surprised that there was what was left. Um, I wanted the mug, you could see the mug, but um, definitely spent the money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, I should note we are here on Friday, not Thursday. We didn't rope drop the expo. Uh, we did get here a little bit after 10. Uh, on the second day, and there was still a good amount of merch left. Yep, good amount of merch and uh, no line to get in. Yep, yeah, that so was nice. <laughs> we actually had a friend get a couple pins for us, so we actually didn't get anything in the expo. But other than that, I thought it was all smooth. Uh, never felt too, too busy at yep. any point. And there's definitely a lot more in the big, uh, our big expo hall. Yeah, for sure. I had a lot of big displays. Corksicle and Pandora's displays were like massive. Uh, and there was big lines to get kind of into both of those areas, but that's cool. I'm glad to see it yeah. kind of upscaled a little bit. But now we are actually heading to lunch. Amy, uh, what are we doing? Uh, we are going to the Kelsey's Hope Foundation luncheon. It's the um, the Kelsey's Crew Appre Appreciation Luncheon. So um, I ran uh, this race with a charity. I fundraised for them, and I'm allowed to bring some guests. So. Now Jen's coming with me, <laughs> but um, yeah, it's just a little appreciation lunch and we all get to meet each other, everybody that's on Kelsey's crew for this race. Yeah, so excited to try that. We've never done like any of the charities or anything for race weekend, so this will all be new to us. So let's go. Sorry, it was the first one. I said it was the second. We're gonna 
finish our expo video. Uh, yesterday was kind of crazy. We went and did the Kelsey's Hope or luncheon that they did, and then we were at the resort, and then we went back to the expo, and then we were back at the resort and did dinner, and then it was bedtime already. So we didn't really get to like <laughs> talk about the expo or talk about the merch we got because uh, one of our friends got merch for us the day before, so we didn't miss a couple things that we really wanted, and we wanted to talk about the race shirts as well. We are wearing the 10K shirt because it is now the day of the 10K. We're also clearly not at Pop anymore. We are at Contemporary. But we're gonna just quickly uh, go through our merch here and talk about the shirts. Yeah. So first up is the Challenge Magnet. Standard Mickey shaped magnet. You have Moana 19.3. All that fun stuff. Yeah, super cute. They also had magnets for all the race distances and they had a weekend magnet we decided to just go with one this time we really liked this one so that was the one we picked the three replica metal pins from this weekend if i can get all of those to focus yeah there we go yep so we have uh what's that on the right there uh well the right oh. That's we'll start with on. this one yep the Mulan <laughs> replica and then it does spin and have the other side to it. It has like a 50th embellishment on it. And then you have the Tiana pin in the center, which is the 10K, and then the Moana on the end, which is the challenge. We always like the replica metal pins. They are very adorable. Yeah, again, they had lots of other pins for the weekend. They had an overall weekend pin. They also had a new like 2020 just run Disney pin that was new. Did see that, this. that was pretty cool. Yeah, so um, lots of really good stuff, I thought. There was a lot there still for being there the second day, I thought. Yeah. Some things I think were maybe out of some sizes, but they still had a lot of pins lots and of, a lot of other things. Yes, and uh, most of the 5K stuff was gone. Yes. Other than that, a good selection. Not everything, but some something for everyone, I think. Yeah. yeah, I think like all the pass holder stuff was still there too. Yes, I think so too. Yeah, and then race shirts. So this was the 10K shirt. It's this nice light pink color or pink purple. It's purple. <laughs> yeah, and it's got Tiana and Enchanted on it. We have the half marathon shirt. There we go. It is a. It's like a, a lime green, like a lime sickle green. <laughs> it's, I like it. Um, has Mulan, Half Marathon, uh, Disney Princess. And then the sleeves this weekend have, just on the one side, it's got Run Disney and then 50th, Walt Disney World 50. Both Might be easier side. to see on this one. Possibly. <laughs> Let's look at that one. There you go. <laughs> Lastly is this one, is the challenge shirt, has Moana and says Fairy Tale Challenge on it, 19.3. All good stuff there. Yep, and the material is similar to that that we've seen at Wine and Dine and Marathon Weekend. It's kind of that mesh material. The shirts are super comfortable, but they are still pretty Not the best bad quality. quality. Yeah. You can see strings. this one is full of different like strings and stuff yep. already falling out. So that is unfortunate, yep. but. And I know my Wine and Dine one, which is the same material, I assume the same supplier it got a hole in it over the january race weekend so it was only like a month or two old at that point so expo was good yes the expo itself was quite large like the yeah. exhibitor hall was full it was bigger it was bigger than the marathon weekend i think so yeah there were corksicle and pandora both had very large elaborate displays which helped fill the area yep. and there were some more booths like along the sides what kind of where the bleachers are. Yeah. But along with them filling up space, they had cool things there. Like um, Corksicle had a really cool like photo op. Um, Pandora had a line to go inside, so I didn't actually go in. Did, did you go in? I didn't back? go in, but yeah, they had their whole like area was like a big elaborate castle set up. It, it looked really, really cool, cool when you walked in. <laughs> and it had like topiaries of the princesses. Um, I saw a lot of people taking pictures with those. So they did like a really good job um, decorating up the expo. Other than that, fairly uh, standard expo. Official merch was in that first building. They had photo, the photo drops there as well. You know, one thing we didn't do that we usually do is pictures with the metal signs, but they had those. 
along the walkway outside. And they also had a big carriage set up that you yep. could take pictures with, which was really cool. To pick up your bib, exactly the same. They still aren't taking pictures for challenge participants. I don't know if that's something that they're just doing away with now. Probably will just be gone now. Yeah, I don't know. They may have another way of verifying it with race pictures or something, I don't know. Getting your shirts, uh, nice and easy. One final thing, um, since it seems to be an ongoing problem, this time around, Lake had to fill out a paper waiver to get his bib. Um, super easy. If that, if you ever have it happen to you or a friend where the waiver won't pull up on your phone or your computer when it's time to sign it, it's not even worth a call to Disney at this point. It's um, they're set up for it. It yep. was very easy. It <laughs> yep. didn't take me really any there's longer. There's not there's not a line. You're not gonna have to get there early to wait in a line. It's really easy. So not not nothing to stress about whatsoever. <laughs> yep. That evening we just we ate dinner at Pop. It's quick quick service, and then it was off to an early bed for the 10K. That's going to do it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like, subscribe, ring the bell, all of that fun youtube -y stuff, and we'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Bye.